went shopping. $50 at the Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, that's a lot in there. But I got lots of stuff to show you. I need you to subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when I upload new videos. Let's get on with it. So, went to the Dollar Tree and I found all kinds of stuff. So, that, I figure I'll wear that while I'm doing my decorating. Isn't it cute? It's so adorable. For a buck, you can't beat it. Okay, and I got this because I love, everybody knows I love skulls. But I figure I can do something with this. I don't know what. It's kind of cool though. Like, check that out. It's like so neat. And I figure, I don't know. I, I but it's it, it like caught my attention. So that's that. And I bought a bunch of skulls for the concrete. More skulls, like I need them. <laughs> so I got you know the spider web. I got the white. And I also got these little guys for garden for the tree. I haven't opened them or looked at them, but aren't they adorable? Look at those guys. Like, they're so cute. So I got two of those. And they're going to go on the tree. And I got some, you can never go wrong, with the black gauze, because you can use it for everything. You can drape everything in it, which is nice. I have tons of it in my Halloween stuff. Anyways, when I bring out all my bins for Halloween, you guys are going to be like, what the hell? She needed more stuff? Yeah, I got so much stuff, but I'm doing like epic this year. So, and these little guys, they're little clips. So I figure you can go on the ends of the tree. They're little bats. And, you know, window helped me. My neighbors already think I'm scary. There's a whole story behind that. So we don't get any trick-or-treaters. I always buy Halloween candy because I always think there's all these kids around and I would be able to give out candy because I get so excited and I get dressed up and I do the house, I do the yard, and I don't get one trick-or-treater. So, a couple years ago, my neighbor brought her daughter down and she walked in the front door because obviously I want them to come in. She was so scared, she started crying, covered her eyes, and they had to pour out of there without even getting any candy. My only trick-or-treater, I scared them away. So, I think everybody knows not to come to my house because it's so creepy. And it's creepy anyway, so. But we're going to do a tour of the house one day to show you how I decorate. I don't think it's creepy, but other people must. So more bats. I don't know. You probably won't be able to see it in the plastic. But let's show you. These are really cool. So you've got to hit the Dollar Tree. Aren't those cool? They're sparkly, but I'm thinking the sparkles are okay for the tree because they'll show up better. Usually, I'm not into sparkly things. So, there's that. And I also got a strobe light. I have another one, and I haven't done anything with it yet. But I could probably do some really crazy shit with that. So, there's that. Caution tape. Of course, you cannot have Halloween without caution tape. Just can't happen. Gotta have caution tape. Want to make people aware that you're crazy. So, lights, lights, lights. Haven't tried them yet, but these are purple ones. I don't go for the orange. Um, I like the purple. It gives you more of an eerie effect. So, these are just purple lights for the tree. And then these little guys, they had these. These are little skeleton lights. I thought those were cool. I got two of those because I'm just doing a little tree, um, not a real big one because I have so many decorations, I could never fit a big tree in with all the decorations. It would just look bad. So, and then I got 
little bats. They are so adorable. So, they're um, little bats. I don't know if you can see that. They're so cute. They're purple. Purple, purple. Two of those. And then, okay, I got the orange lights just for some like added color. I don't want it too dark because if it's too dark, you're not going to see any of my decorations. These cool spiders. I don't know. And then the spider webs. So I thought that kind of looked nice on a tree. And then, of course, more skulls. And little rats. And I'm big on rats. I put them all outside. You'll see when I do that. I put them all over the porch, like climbing on the pumpkin. It's fun. Yeah. So, spiders, bats, all that stuff. Oh, here they are. I took a whole bag out to my shed because I'm going to make concrete ones. But I got a shitload of these because here's another story for you. So I started doing concrete skulls. Okay. Well, I had a couple of these I grabbed out of my Halloween decorations in the spring. And I'm like, okay. <clears throat> well, I wanted more because I wanted to cut one off so it's just his upper jaw and do concrete skulls out of just the upper jaw because I want to do them in my graveyard too. Always thinking. So I didn't want to cut the one I had. So I get online and I'm looking on Amazon and everywhere. $20 for these plastic skulls? Really? So the dollar store has them for a buck. So just so you guys all know, don't buy them on eBay or Amazon. You can get them for a buck at the dollar store right now. They have a whole shitload of them, well near me anyways. But I was so excited to get them. I kept buying them because now I'm afraid I'll run out of them. And then these little guys are really cool. So check him out. His little jaw moves. See that? And his eyes must turn different colors. I didn't realize that. Because when I tested them in the store, it was just red. Check that out. I like it. So there's that and I got one, two, three, four, four of those and of course you cannot pass up a spider that's one of the things I do not have in my Halloween decorations is a skeleton spider so God had to have that it's all about creepiness right and you know since I don't get trick-or-treaters I might as well just have fun with it so they, these I got there's a thing the one thing I do need to find is a big skull um, so so I need something in proportion with these hands what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Grim Reaper so for a buck I got these instead of trying to make the hands so I stopped at Walmart right now they're trying to get rid of all their pool supplies and stuff. And I was fearful that I wasn't going to get them, but I got two pool noodles. I'm going to make a um, Grim Reaper out of this. So I'll show you how I do that. And I'm going to do a big one so that he can hang. I got this really... <laughs> That's probably why my neighbors don't like me. Um, not that they don't like me. They just think I'm creepy. They kind of keep their distance. They're nice to me. But they keep their distance. I'm like that that lady on the corner that like, ooh, you know. But I have a creepy tree. It is actually a crabapple tree. And, you know, I wanted the tear it down, I wanted the tear it down, da 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 And then I kept looking at it and I'm like, I don't know, it's just so creepy looking. It's like dying, so it's like, <laughs> it can't hurt anything if any of the branches fall. But the deer come and eat crab apples off of it and all that stuff. But this is like going to be the perfect place to hang it. So I want to do them big so people see them and I'm going to put a red light on them 
so he looks even that more creepy but we get so much traffic through here even though we're in a neighborhood people use this as a cut through so uh yeah i get a lot of thumbs up when people go past and i'm outside they're always like oh yeah so yeah if i can at least have that i'll take it moss can't go wrong you use moss for everything in a dollar tree there you have it so, let's see, I got more spider webbing black, more spider, because I kind of like put that through the white, and then it kind of gives it that depth that you want in a spider web, you know? So, I like it. Spider web. More moss. This little green moss I'm going to use on the, I'll show you in a minute. I'm not going to it. Duct tape, can never get wrong with duct tape. Definitely had to have the creepy cloth. So, I'm not real big on the, but you got like light colors, but you gotta have some light colors and stuff or it just don't look right, it don't show up. It's not like, you know, they're, when you have something black and then you put black behind it, just like I was trying to do with my curtains, because the windows behind me, my curtains are black, and when I pulled them, it just didn't like my hair looked like I didn't have no hair. So, yeah, that's that for that. And more little guys like this that I want to light up with the little lights. I think I talked about that in my chatting video. We'll do that. And then these, I'm taking the pumpkins off of these to use the lights because they didn't have any more of them other ones. So I'm just going to, and I could probably use these little pumpkins for something. I'll, I'll think of something. I always do. So then I got these tacky keep out signs. But, just, you know. They're not that great looking. But they do the job. So I'm thinking I'm going to repaint them, get rid of that dumb hand on there, because that just is so tacky. Um, and maybe use some uh, glow-in-the-dark paint, because I have two entrances to my home, you know, two walkways. So I'll put one at each side, and um, we'll have to mess with that and do something really good. Make it creepy. Maybe, you know, string some stuff on it. I don't know. But we'll figure it out. But that'll be fun. So then, I have gravestones. But I needed more. Because I'm not going to use these like you think I'm going to use them. So I got... I'm going to need like this. I've got a lot of these. Not going to be a lot compared to what I'm going to do with them though. So... I'm going to, so I got two of each kind, all right, and what I'm going to do, because, come on, let's be serious, gravestones are not black, if anybody's been to a graveyard recently, they're not black, I mean, you know, it's dumb, but what I'm going to do is, since, like, styrofoam's so expensive, these were great just for the styrofoam, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know, fuse them together. I'm going to put rods in there so they can stay in the ground. And probably some type of, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to need to build a base to make it look like it's a base for a tombstone. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I wanted to do them in concrete. I wanted to like, you know, drape them with concrete so they actually looked like real stones put them all over the yard and we'll figure it out as we go. I'm not real sure how I want to do that yet because sometimes I don't want to promise I'm going to do one, something one way because I change my mind a lot on stuff and I'll like get a brainstorm and do that. But I bought the little fencing a couple years ago and I thought I got two of these. Two of these. And I'm thinking that um, wait a minute, let me get this apart. Alright. So, 
to ink in with these somehow make an entrance to the graveyard. I mean, because I just like the look of the uh, what, what they look like, but I don't like the way they're painted or anything. So I'm gonna do something with those to make them look more realistic. You know, like the purple on there and the red, and that. Make them more like you would see in an old graveyard. And we're gonna put the moss on the stones, like I said. I don't know if I can make switch hit that. The, the moss is gonna go to stones, and I don't know, I might write on them, and I might not. I might just leave them blank. You'll see. It's just that it's a thought I have. So, but that's it. I got a, oh, and then my little skull guy. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do lights in his head. And um, we're gonna put some moss around him, paint him a little bit, and um, make him look creepy. So, okay. Um, I think I might do some crafts tonight never get too started too early on Halloween because you want it to look good you don't want it to be tacky I'm not one for tacky so I like it to look real so well thank you for watching please subscribe and hit the bell notification hit like um, and leave me a comment thanks for watching